And in today's video, Optona HDR projector, short throw projector. It's a specific projector which could give you up to 300 inches screen. Well, so it needs to be bright. And it is bright. It's all the way to 3,600 lumens. This is the inexpensive version. There's also a more expensive version with 4,000 lumens, which would be ideal, but it's a bit more expensive. Well, the box is so huge that I, <laughs> my, uh, yeah, uh, we are beyond the limit of my studio. Anyway, let's unbox it. remote hmm. power cable okay. wow there's also a manual I think yeah that's the manual and included batteries for the, for your remote well let's check out the manual could be interesting. It's a lot of pictures. That's why it's interesting. Okay. 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 A lot of connectivity like that, I see. Alright, let's continue. Oh come on. Mm -mm. Smells. On the bottom, we have three legs. You can unscrew to set up your level. What else do we have? A vent. Of course, a lens. How do we... Okay. All right. Ooh. Damn, it's clean. I don't know why I'm whispering. Wow, nice. On the right side, also a little bit of vents couple of buttons, light indicator, your lamp indicator and heat indicator, ports, of course power, Kensington lock, power out, 5 volts, 1.5 amp, service, LC232, HDMI 60 hertz, and another one, same deal, audio, optical output or input, whatever, 12 volts out, this is to control your electric screen if you have one it's pretty cool and audio out okay nice of course there is no zoom only focus this is a short throw pro projector which is quite different than the regular one well you will find out very soon also the lens wow that is a clean lens in a full brightness mode If we turn down to the echo mode, built in speaker, maximum volume. important feature in projector is brightness. Is it going to be bright enough for the daily use? Now you can see we are in a very bright room. Ooh, we have a little bit of rainbow effect. It's all because of the camera to the image. Well, we are like one meter. Look at that Amazon sign. We need a little bit of focus. A, little, a tiny bit. Let me just 
Set up the focus for you. There you go. There you go. Very nice. It is very, very bright. That's our distance to the wall. 75 centimeters. In inches also at the top. And the screen size. 140 centimeters. Wow. Wow. That is a 65 inch screen. And the brightness, judging by the calculator, is 626 nits, which is a lot visible in the daily use. We are in the echo mode, dynamic, echo plus, and bright. Wow, that's a very bright image. Wow, that is bright, very bright. Definitely usable in the daylight. Let's uh, go a bit farther from the wall in the bigger screen. So somewhere about one meter, 10 centimeters in inches also. Look at that screen, whoa! 220 centimeters, which will give you 88 inches, 88 inches from a little over one meter. Perfectly visible, it's all bright, fantastic. 120 inch screen, that's a lot, and it's very bright, and even in corners, it's semi-sharp, I think it's sharp. Maybe, ex maybe not extremely sharp, but sharp enough. Great success. I've changed the camera for something uh, better. Now you don't see that, lines, it all depends on the camera. But with this size, they're increasing it. What does that mean? It means from the wall is 170 centimeters. 340 centimeters. That's a lot of inches. A lot. How big it is. And uh, how bright it is. That is still usable and still sharp. Wow. That's 2 meters 10 centimeters. 210 centimeters. We're getting a screen insanely big. Uh, uh, 395. Wait, let me just. Okay. 395. 395. Almost 400 centimeters. Now that's a gigantic. Uh, it's insanely big. Cinema big experience from two meters. And it's still bright enough. It's still usable in the daylight. So you can go all the way to 139 hertz, which is quite a lot in full HD. Gaming on it. Of the Xbox pad. Well, the response time are really, really good. Whoa. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service. And it's very cool. Very cool. Whoa. And bear in mind, this is the inexpensive version, which will give you from 2 meters 85 nits. There you go, at the bottom. There is a more expensive one, a little bit more expensive. It's called 400 STX. And from 2 meters, it will give you all the way to 142 nits, which is an insane difference. That's much, much brighter image. In the menu, you can change basically all of it in the, in the display. Four corners, keystones, v-stones, everything. Extra setting languages. Come on, come on. Menu settings, all kinds of different settings. All kinds. Even 12 volt trigger. Literally everything. 
Conclusion, fantastic for gaming, very fast, beautiful colors, very quiet, usable in the daylight, very bright, but of course, if you want to get even brighter, take the high model, 4 series, it's much, much brighter. And there you go, definitely recommend Optona for the viewing experience. In the audio department, buy yourself a separate speaker or, or soundbar. That's all I have. Thanks for watching and see you next video. Bye.